from Lehigh River Subdivision and today we're going to be doing a mail call and review on two items. Uh, if you saw my community post last week, I posted a video to a train and said there was a hint to one of the items. So we'll take a look at that item first up close here on the camera and that is an air products caboose. So I'll talk about that more when we take a closer look at it. And then the other item we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing today is one of the Legends of the Road Train Works Toads pad with the Bulkomatic trailer. Uh, this is a Peterbilt, so we will take a look at that as well. Two pretty cool items and unique. So let's take a closer look. And we're gonna so first up, we're going to take a look at this Air Products Caboose. This was made by Atlas, and it's a newer release. It just came out. Uh, at the end of December or the beginning of January. So I did not pre-order this. I missed the pre-order. And uh, I've been trying to watch for them to come out. And once I seen that Lombards had one, I went ahead and ordered one. So this is going to be for my heat exchanger train I plan to build. It has the correct number on it, 202. Where? I think it focused in on it, but the uh, paint scheme's correct, to the best of my knowledge. It's a really cool caboose, um, but Air Products used to be up towards Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area. I'm not 100% sure it was up that way somewhere, and they would ship heat exchangers out by rail, and they brought them down through the Lehigh Gorge to Lehigh and where they were dropped off. For NS to continue taking them. Um, and they were one of the coolest trains to see in person. So that's why I went ahead and got this caboose. And that has really good detail. Uh, eventually I'll switch out the trucks on these. To put um, metal wheels on. I have one that somebody I bought used. The Lehigh Valley caboose. And somebody did it. And that one works so much better than the ones that have these... Uh, Atlas trucks. I don't like the Atlas trucks. Um, but otherwise, awesome caboose. So let's take a look. And like that, it does have the closed off windows like the uh, prototype. So they got that right on it too. So we're going to take a look at the next item, which is the truck. So I've long wanted one of these train works um, modern tractors and trailers. Um, I have some of their trailers, but they do these combo set oops, with the truck and trailer. And their um, trucks and trailers are the most detailed um, trucks, I feel, in end scale that you can buy. The only thing with these is if you don't buy them when they first release, it's very limited run. And they go way, way, way up in price. I've already seen these on eBay over $150, and people will pay it. It's just crazy. Um, I was able to get this one for $65, which I still think is steep, but there's not many options in end scale for such a highly detailed truck. So let's pull this out of the package, and I'm going to set it up on my road down here, and we'll take a look at it down there. So down here with it on the road on the layout, you can just see the amount of detail that starts to pop off of this truck and trailer. And I'm really glad they had the grain trailer with um, a truck similar to this or the bulk trailer. And I'm really glad I got the bulk trailer. Um, I think they're really neat looking. They're different. Um, okay, so we'll start at the back and look at some of the detail on this thing. You got the mud flaps right there, black, um, to look like the rubber. And then they got the uh, little mud flap weight at the bottom, like the chrome mud flap weights. You got the light boxes on the back of the trailer with the tail lights in them. So that's really nice detail. You got the ladder rack that comes all the way up on top. And you can see, I don't know if that's meant to be a catwalk on there or if that is the peel and stick anti-skid to walk on top. 
Um, but anyway, it's a really nice detail. You got the piping that goes all the way down along each side. You got the hatches, which are highly detailed. And you can see the vacuum pipe here that comes up off the top and runs down to the other side. You got a pipe here that comes down and comes back. You can see the, the, the base to dump out the bottom. So I think like this is an amazing trailer. I'm really glad that I went with the Balkamatic one. Um, you can see they got the reflective tape on the fender well. You got the reflective weight all the way down the side of the trailer there and then up onto the fender well for the tractor where the trailer hooks up. And then if you look at these wheels, they look exactly like aluminum wheels on a big truck. You got the proper holes. You can tell it's got the hub cap on there. And you can see that up here as well on the truck tractor there. Just how detailed that is. Now I have one of my um, other trucks back here. This is a Concor, I believe. Like, that's not a bad looking truck for end scale. And neither is the trailer. I don't know what that trailer was. Um, I bought it without a box. Um, but that's a good looking truck and trailer too. But it doesn't have the detail that this train works. Truck and tractors do. So let's take a look. And uh, from this angle, you can see how nice and crisp the um, lettering is on the trailer, Tri-State Commodities. Um, I think these are based off of uh, these were based off of a trucking company in Colorado, um, if I'm recalling correctly from what I had read. Um, but you can actually read all the detailing, the lettering on the door. Uh, the camera is not zooming in on it. But the paint job's real crisp here on the two-tone where the orange goes to the white. You got the chrome straps for the fuel tank with the painted fuel tank. Um, real detailed grill on it. Nice bumper. The license plate on the front bumper. You got very intricate side mirrors that look exactly like how they would in real life. You got the big antennas coming up right there. Um, there you got the air horns on top, the marker lights going across, and a cab shield. You got windshield wipers. You can see a steering wheel inside there. Um, and then the, the dual stacks coming up each side. And then the sleeper cab has a window that looks in there. So you can actually see into that sleeper cab. So I think that's an awesome truck. And I just wanted to go over it real well. I usually don't do this involved with reviews, but this is a little bit different item and uh, real fancy. So let me see if I can, I'm gonna take a look at it, see if there's anything else I missed and I'll reposition it if I did. Nothing really else on the trailer, but on the back of the truck, you can see the mud flap rack that comes across. I got chrome tail light box with uh, three lights going across and then the uh, mud flap weight again and then underneath see what kind of detail not too much detail on the bottom which that doesn't really matter um, but otherwise everything else is really really detailed on that and I'm going to set this other truck up here next to it so you can just see a little bit of a comparison in, in the detail. So, I mean, they are expensive for the Trainworks trucks, but in my opinion, they're worth it. Um, they're basically a rivet counter truck in end scale. Does, ever, does anybody need a need for that? No, not everybody does. I mean, do I want a bunch of these trucks? No, but I wanted one or two to have to put up in certain scenes um, where there'll be detail and the other trucks would be better far back where you wouldn't pick up the detail with the camera. So overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. 
and um, last thing we'll do is I'll pull a train with that air products caboose at the end and maybe I can position the truck here and we can get both of them in a single shot so let's do that mm -hmm. 